Hi, welcome to another video from SQLMaestros.com. My name is Amit Aras Bansal and I am going to be your host for this video. In this video, I am going to show you an interesting thing related to Trace Flag 3608. Trace Flag 3608 is actually a special purpose trace flag that will allow SQL Server to start without starting and recovering any other database except the master database. So it's generally used for troubleshooting purposes. But I have a scenario here where if you use this trace flag 3608, it will also start up other databases other than master database. Let's see this in action. Let's begin. Now trace flag 3608 is a special purpose trace flag and that allows SQL Server to start without starting uh, and recovering any databases except the master database, which means if we use this trace flag and uh, while starting SQL Server, it will not start TempDB, it will not start model, uh, none of the system databases except the master database and it is generally used for troubleshooting. So one of my customers reported this to me that when they use this trace flag, uh, SQL Server actually starts uh, the other uh, system databases like model and tempdb. So I want to show this behavior to you as to where our customer was actually going wrong. So if you can see SQL Server current instance SQL 2012 SP1 is uh, stopped. It's uh, not running and I will navigate to the command prompt and manually start SQL Server from command line. So let me navigate to the bin folder which is CD program files, CD Microsoft SQL Server. There you go. And I have my instance, which is uh, MSSQL 11.SQL2012SP1. And in that we have MSSQL folder. And inside the bin folder is where the exe uh, resides. And my command here is going to be SQL SER VR dot exe hyphen t3608 and we are we are manually starting sql server dot exe from the command line using this trace flag oops as usual i make a mistake because i have an uh, instance here it's not a default instance so i need to say sql uh, ser vr dot exe and my instance is so I put um, hyphen S uh, instance being SQL 2012 SP1 and then I put the taste flag 3608. There you go. And now SQL Server is being started from command line. And this is what I want you to observe. If you look at the bottom of this command prompt, you will see that it says starting up database model and temp DB. Now this is this is not supposed to happen. Uh, trace flag 3608 is only supposed to start and recover the master database, none of the other databases. Let's uh, go and look into uh, the error log. Uh, so which is in C, program files, Microsoft SQL Server in my instance, which is um, in the log folder. And that's where our error log is. If I open the error log, with notepad and let's observe that apart from uh, starting the master database which you can see here starting up database master I also see that it starts up at the end the model and tempdb now th this is where the the problem is why does it start model and tempdb so when I was troubleshooting this I figured out I was looking at every uh, log entry being made into the log file and what um, what what really uh, uh, while I was investigating this what really uh, uh, what was interesting for me to see is that it actually also started report server instance here if I can see the uh, roll back and roll forward for the report server database that happened now uh, th this actually uh, gave me the hint and tipped me off that this is something to do with reporting services. So it, it probably could be that when SQL Server service uh, stats, uh, reporting services is also running in background, which actually wanted uh, the report server database, which in turn wanted the model and TempDB database. 
Now, remember the uh, online documentation of TraceFlag 3608 also says that it's not going to start any other database except the master database, but it will start and recover other databases if they are accessed. And I think this is where the problem is. So what I will do is I'll close this and um, I am going to stop SQL Server here and I go to the services uh, control panel and I can see that SQL Server reporting services is also running. It started there and I'm going to stop it to make sure that probably this is the cause of other databases starting. Now remember um, in case where model gets corrupted or uh, or something like that happens and you need this trace flag to only work with the master database. Uh, so you will uh, make sure you need to make sure that the other databases are not running or are not recovered. So I am going to start SQL Server once again using the same trace flag uh, 3608 and this time if I wait and looks good uh, this time if you see SQL Server reporting services is not uh, running so it does not need to access any other database and which in turn does not need the model and TEMDB database. Uh, let's verify this from the log. So we have a new log file now. Let me open this on in notepad and if I scroll down I can see the master database being started but I can see neither are we accessing report server databases and in turn we, we don't need the TempDB and the model so they don't start and my trace flag 3608 behaves uh, the way it is expected to behave. Um, that's all I wanted to show in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. So in this uh, quick video, I showed you something really interesting with trace flag 3608. We keep getting similar troubleshooting scenarios uh, from our customers and I love sharing them with the SQL Server community. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can also know more about us by visiting sqlmaestros.com. Our Twitter handle is sqlmaestros and Facebook is slash sqlmaestros. You can also learn more about me at amitbansal.net. My Twitter handle is a underscore bansal and Facebook is slash amitrsbansal. This is actually a secret uh, to my typing speed. I'm extremely fast when I type on keyboard. Uh, the reason for this is uh,